Mm-hmm. But Kathy Lee Gifford did it for a couple of years. I find her kind of boring, so that wasn't really a thing for me. But didn't Ryan Seacrest? Do- yes. Oh, he- yes, that's what I thought. Okay, that's I think maybe that's why I thought <laughs> Dave Clark did it. Dick Clark did it. I Dave Clark like, Five. Dave Clark Five. <laughs> <laughs> the names have been changed to protect the innocent. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, um, what Thanksgiving traditions do you still uphold that are have been handed down from generation to generation, Dave? I'll give you a hint. Da 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 da. Football. You got it. <laughs> got to watch the Lions. That football. is so How not in I our house. At all. Oh yeah. <laughs> it what. It was not in my household when my children were young. It was when I was growing up, and it is again. Well, because they're grown up too now. Right. Yeah. Right. They're in first place now, you know. The lions are? They are. Oh, my God. Hell's going to freeze over. Yeah. It's, it's been a long couple of weeks, hasn't it? You know it? what the would apocalypse really is make nigh. it? You know, if um, the Browns were in second, then. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm, I would Play. cash I out your know. IRAs. Playing Do it Minnesota. Now. Oh, is that the Vikings? Yes. Is that going to be a good game? It should. They're practically tied for first. <gasps> Ooh. Usually the Thanksgiving game is just Lions fans eating a lot of food and sleeping halfway during the game. They might actually <laughs> stay awake this time, so it'll yeah, be good. The fan has a lot to do with that. Yes, right. it does. Yeah. It does. That's right. We're or gonna... the pile of mashed potatoes right. and squash yeah. I shove into my face unnecessarily, yes. Mm, but it's so good. It is. So what tradition do you uphold that's come down from generation to generation we we never really had any set traditions um we used to go out to my mother's family and she's got 12 siblings so it was usually a big to do um and thanksgiving dinner was quite frequently interrupted by people yelling deer out the back door and then half the men would get up and run off and we wouldn't see them anyway so um we and we stopped going out there and my dad's dad used to come up to us from sanford and and just get together and eat um with people working all the time it's really hard to uphold any traditions i think because you've got so many schedules which is kind of sad yeah we still have it on. Th- we're still having it on Thanksgiving this year. And I'm still it's cooking a nothing. Group, yes, of people. Yeah, that's, that's my tradition. I cook nothing, and it's what? great. My mom's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> do you have a large group or a small group? We do. Yeah, my mother. She's going to be 80 years old next year, but she still makes the Thanksgiving Good dinner. Good God bless nice. her. Obviously, we help and bring a dish to pass and that type of thing. And do the dishes. That's and how dishes. far away is she, Dave? She just lives in Essexville. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. That's yeah. really good. Mm-hmm. We um. My, I no longer have Thanksgiving with my family because they're too far away. But when I was growing up, we all had it all together. And my mom also had 12 siblings. So it was packed. Yeah. It was just full. And then slowly people started moving away. And um, it was always my cousin Jamie's birthday. So as he grew up, he started having it at his house, which was fun because all the cousins still got together. I don't even know if they do that anymore. But now... um. With my new family up here, we take turns. There's, um, I have two stepchildren, so we have it one year at one's house, one year at one's, and one year at mine. And this year, uh, my youngest son is joining us, so that'll be fun. It's been a while since he's been able to be with us at Thanksgiving. But we do all the regular traditional food. And, you know, I never had a deep-fried turkey until... Probably three years ago. I've never had and one. And I though. always right. wanted it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it stays so juicy right. and yeah. tender and doesn't dry out at all, even when it's cold. You know, my mom always used to say, don't cook it till you can choke on it. Mm-hmm. That's what gravy's so for, dry. though. That's what gravy's <laughs> for. Mm-hmm. I like dry turkey with yeah. tons of gravy. Yeah, me too. Gravy. I'm a gravy girl. <laughs> and that's the only, you know, I don't like my food to touch. But on Thanksgiving, I'm okay with it. That's the only day. I'm so going to walk by you one of these days and just shake your plate and walk away and giggle. (laughs) It's okay if it's Chinese food and it's been all cooked together. That's all kind of thrown together anyway. Yeah, if it's cooked together, I'm okay. Like stew or stuff like that, I'm okay. But um, But you don't want your gravy touching your Jello dessert. No, yeah, no, I understand. I'm like that too. And (laughs) and my cranberries too. I don't like. And ooh, if anything gets on my lettuce, like a salad. I won't eat that See, cranberries are kind of juicy and they kind of spread out into your potatoes. And, and you have I'll to be very vigilant. With them. Yes. yes, you do. You, do. You, you have to build a little fort. You do. With you the do. mashed potatoes. Yes. 
You know, the no, year Deb, you don't take the plates and have your compartments for each of the food too. Do if, the cornet dish. Really? If yes. I could always eat off of a plate like that, I wow. would be very happy. Okay. You, we could probably make you some plastic dividers. And so, just cut slits in them. I'm already crafting this in my head. How and sad I can is that? just take that with me. <laughs> yes, and, and you can it on have my compartments dish. like pie slices. You can just oh put whatever. My. Yeah, I'm kind of liking it. I know. See, there's a market for everything. You know, um, <laughs> years and years ago, they came out with those plastic picnic plates that were primary colors. There was red, ye- red, yellow, blue, and green. I think. I think so. And they were divided, yep. and my Aunt Tootie got me those for Christmas one year, and I cried. Hmm. I was because so it was happy. such a thankful, it, it was, was such a thoughtful <laughs> gift. It was so <laughs> You've saved me days of separating food, yes. Wow. <laughs> and then sometimes, like, cream corn was Ugh. the bane of my existence, because <laughs> it would get on everything. Everything, <laughs> everything. And I'd be sitting at the table going, <laughs> 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 it was <laughs> So anyway, that's my weirdness. What's your weirdness, Dave? I'm just not weird at all. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> that's such what a lie. I'm the opposite when it comes to food. You let it mush up oh, together? Yeah, I'll mix it. And, no. Yeah, it all ends You're up mashed the same potatoes place. and corn what? guy, aren't yes, you? Yes, we got you a mashed potato pea guy, gravy, too? Gravy, we got dressing, we got turkey. I mean, and I'm you okay can on Thanksgiving. Add them all together and it's all good. And my, my one uncle used to say, it all goes to the same place. It doesn't matter. Right, when but it's, it's got past your tongue on the mouth. way. Yeah, yes. it does yes. It's not all in the same place. My And my other uncle used to say, eat every potato and pee on your plate. Oh. No way. <laughs> Where did that come Whenever from? Whenever we had peas and oh, potatoes. Oh, okay. okay. He potatoes. always said, eat like, every where? potato Ooh, and pee on your know. plate. Where in the world did P-E-A. urinating on your plate come from? <laughs> I had corny relatives. <laughs> that's didn't good. I? No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> wow, so Dave says he doesn't have any weirdness, but I'm I'm gonna get him on it. Yeah. All right, try. This is, and it's not it's not bad weird though. Oh, okay. It's good weird. What time do you get up in the morning for boot camp? Four thirty. What time are you exercising? Five forty-five. See, that's really you, you could be sleeping. Well, that's, that's dedicated. That's the way to go. That's you could, very dedicated. You could roll out. <laughs> I'm already playing this. You could roll out. What yeah. time do you go to bed? What usually, time? I'm in bed by nine thirty or ten o'clock. There you go. Yeah. There See, I'm go. going to bed usually on the weekends by like four a.m. Yeah. and getting up at six thirty to get a kid to school. Still, only so. gets wow. me about six and a half, seven hours of sleep, but it's enough. No, that actually would be a good amount of sleep. I'm glad eight is too much. I'm most of the time I'm still here at nine thirty. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's so bring a pillow. And yeah, a sleeping bag. you know, see those. Couches yes. like there, you could sleep there. Mm-hmm. Easy. I'm gonna bring a pillow because I could get potentially snowed in. The homeless people will scare the crap out of you when they knock on the window, though. Oh, oh, do oh. That. Yeah, mm-hmm. just saying. I'm just warning oh. you ahead. I'm just up the street a couple blocks, so I know how this goes. Mm-hmm. So, so what's your weirdness? I everything, come on, everything about me is weird. I don't really have one particular one. You don't eat cute things. No, I don't eat cute animals. I'll eat chicken and turkey because turkeys, I'm sorry, are They're freaking ugly. ugly. They are. Yeah, ugly. they are ugly. <laughs> um, you know, and, and it's funny because my dad went deer hunting once and the deer turned and looked at him before he shot it. And he's like, I'm done. I can't do this Aww. anymore. We are so critter related in our house that, yeah. And I've I had a pet rabbit. That. I can't eat one. I'm sorry. That's just kind of. What about beef? I'm not a fan of beef. I will have the I will have the occasional steak. My mom's dad actually had a dairy farm out in uh, Hemlock, and mm. she's not a big pet person, and that's probably why because they used to tell him don't name the cows. Yes, you could end up eating it the next day, and that's kind of traumatic to a child, I'd imagine. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's traumatic to an adult, I would think. Yes. So no, no cute animals were maimed in the, the making of my plate. Yeah. Some people like beef. I've just never been a big beef fanatic. I eat turkey burger. I don't eat regular hamburger because it's. I kind. I I eat half and half. Right. A lot of people do that because yeah. it keeps it a little more moist. Right. It does. Right. That's I, very I, I true. I don't mind dry turkey burger because, like I said, turkeys are ugly. So I'm right. fine with that. We get um a lot of times we get our ground beef from a farmer that's grass fed and finished. Right. And I know that that cow had a happy life, and that helps me. Well, until a lot. they killed it. Until they killed it. But that's why they were <laughs> raising it. Yes. 
but all you know, it's those, not crammed in like a building right, with five hundred other cows. Really yes. sad. It is sad. You know, you know when you see those things on Facebook about the people playing with the cows and stuff. I can't watch those. No. No, I can't see. I think cows are kind of cute. They are own weird. We used to get drop way. calves and I had to feed them with a bottle oh. and then they'd take them and they told me that they were taking them to auction. Oh. But then all of a sudden our freezer would be full. Oh. But <laughs> I believe them. I believe them that they were doing that until one day it hit me. The lies. And I was, the lies. I was in my late mm. 20s. Well, I'm sure. But I chose to believe it. And then one day I just went, you people the are The timing of this. <laughs> I fed These that were cow. the babies I fed. Yeah. Oh. So anyway, we digress. So um, <laughs> do you, you like mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving? I like them. They don't like me. I try to not like them. We're, Bruce and I are trying to cut out carbs as a general whole, and that's really not easy. I'm looking into cauliflower bread. How sad is that? But you know what? Mashed cauliflower is really, really good. It is. Good. I love it cauliflower. I, I do. Um, but, you know, we're, we're not eating bread right now, which I'm okay because I had Pop-Tarts last night. Screw it. I had a splurge today. I just went ahead. 50 cents, Pop-Tarts, yes. So I went ahead and had those, and he just, like, frowned at me the whole time. But... Um, I do like those. I adore squash. I know some, it, squash is love squash hate. Is Either, really there is no good. middle. You love it or hate it. And I really, I could eat squash every day of the week. It is so I good. Die. Do you like squash, Dave? Absolutely. What do you like better, squash or, or sweet potatoes? Ooh. Uh, they're fairly even. I'm, I think I'm going to choose the sweet potato, though. Are you? Yeah. With the that... right amount of butter, I think they're the same. By the way, <laughs> little little commercial for Meyer. They're on sale for thirty nine cents a pound this week. The, oh, yeah, so load up on your sweet potatoes. I'm gonna make. You know, usually I make squash, but my my daughter in law asked me to bring that mashed sweet potatoes that I always make. Do you do I've it? The marshmallows. I've never you made never them. I've never made them. I so always she's asking for a dish that doesn't exist. <laughs> I always made squash, so I don't think she ate it. But that's okay. So I she am. Just I'm going to gonna change it up and bring um, mashed sweet potatoes. You could probably mash those, put them in the freezer, even because my mom does her squash like way ahead. Mm-hmm. She's so much smarter about Thanksgiving. Oh, uh, instead yeah. of all, she last just pops minute. it out of the freezer, puts it in the microwave, off she goes. You know, the oh, pies that is are done smart. a day ahead. Yeah. Well, it used to be a big fiasco. So she for that to, many people, she had to she had to get ahead. a little smarter. Right. Yeah, because right. if not, they'd murder each other, and that wouldn't be cool on Thanksgiving. No. All right. So. Do you like pumpkin pie, Dave? Awesome, yeah. Is that good. your favorite pie? No, I would say apple is still my favorite. Do you get apple pie at Thanksgiving too, or just yes. pumpkin? Oh yeah. So you get it. Mm-hmm. That's you know that's one of the holidays that is a pie holiday, isn't it? It is. Why do you think that is? Must have something to do with the pilgrims. Let's look it up. No, we're just already gluttoning our ourselves. Is what <laughs> happens, and we just like screw it. Let's have pie. <laughs> Be- but you know what? If you think about it, apples are fall fruit, and yep. mm-hmm. as are pumpkins and all kinds of squash and stuff. Apple, cherry, and pumpkin we have, and I never Apple, touch the pumpkin. Peaches, pumpkin pie. Yep. Um, I the pumpkin occasional- is not one of my favorites. Do you have whipped cream on it? Oh yeah, or ice well, cream too. Or ice cream Either on one. pumpkin pie. Well, sure. ice Again, I have a hard time with the things touching. <laughs> oh, ice cream's cool on pie. Mm-hmm. Lemon meringue we have occasionally too. My grandma used to make. My dad mm. makes them from scratch because mm. he's he's allergic to five million things, so he makes his own from scratch, and it's like the most amazing, real nice thick <sighs> meringue. Do you like lemon meringue pie, Dan? I do not. You really? don't. That's the pie I don't like. Huh? Sorry. That's it goes, okay. It goes good with vodka. I'm just saying. Maybe you haven't had it right. <laughs> <laughs> have some vodka first and then it's yes. good. It's like a lemon we'll drop shot. To, we should run an experiment. I'm not big on coconut either. Oh, coconut cream. Like you just don't like those co- those cream pies. Key lime. Or Are you okay I've with just, key lime? Yes. Key lime pie is huh, That's interesting. Mm-hmm. No lemon, but key lime. Hmm. Do you have That's key your lime. weird right there. So Maybe what kind of out. pies do you have at Thanksgiving? Apple, pumpkin? Is that it? That's usually it. What about you? Apple, cherry, pumpkin. And we have the occasional woman. We have um, sometimes we have apple, but usually just pumpkin. And then my stepdaughter makes my husband mince meat. Oh mm. no, no! Uh, <laughs> several people threw up in their mouths a little bit when yeah. I said no one else Lord. eats it except for him. I don't even know what's in that, but it just—it's raisins sound good. and dates and and meat. 
No, no meat. There's no, no meat in a uh-uh. mincemeat pie. No. no. It used to be suet, but it's no longer there. I think suet, it's... you feed to the birds. I know. Ugh. What is that? Ooh, no, That's like you... the-